This is Dahia. For the past 10 days, the Israelis have been bombing this place. And in fact, we can hear a drone flying overhead now. Now, the Israelis say that um, uh, this is a Hezbollah terrorist area where weapons are stored. And they say they've been leafleting the area, warning residents to leave. But amongst the wreckage, I can see no sign of uh, leaflets. The only things destroyed that I can see here are uh, homes, uh, an orphanage around the corner, a mosque, and businesses. Um, the residents of this area have nothing but hatred for the Israelis, and it's not surprising why. And this is what the Israelis call a military target, a multi-story in nearby Mu'ad, full of homes and businesses. Again, no weapons caches here, no Katusha rockets, just ordinary people going about their mundane business. Uh, we came, it was bombed, and you know, th this is not a military building, this is civilian. People live here, and this is a warehouse, a warehouse for, for clothes and, and shoes. Uh, so they bombed it, yeah, it's simple, just bombed it for no good reason. There's no Hezbollah militants here, there's nothing. So wh why do you think they bombed it? Because they're targeting civilians, it's, yeah, and, uh, they're targeting civilians. It's, this is not uh, a war between Israel and Hezbollah. This is a war between Israel and the people of Lebanon. Okay. Now, uh, there was somebody here at the time it was bombed? Yes, th there was a guy from Su Sudan, he, w he was the groundskeeper for the building, and the building collapsed on him. And where is he now? He is under the rubble. We, do uh, we don't know, we, ca we can't find his body and we don't know if he's dead. As we approached the area, we could smell the stench of death. Poisonous smoke billowed from the rubble, as men desperately tried to save a man underneath the devastation. They had lost all hope for others unaccounted for. But to tell the truth, this story is nothing extraordinary in a city under attack, and defiant residents are getting more and more resigned to it. We're fighting for surviving also, you know. They are destroying all the economy of the country, the country, everything. Either yesterday they destroyed one bridge, it's nothing, it's called Metfun, I don't know if you've been there. So there is nothing there either in June, in many places, just to destroy the economy of the country. Can you see a way out of this? They hate you. They don't want you to be to survive. That's all. Every time, 82, they make the same situation. Every time they've been by planes, by fighting, by trying, drunk. This Israeli war has achieved something remarkable. It has united a previously divided country. Shia, Sunni, Christian and Druze, they've all suffered during the last three weeks. And if Israel is to defeat Hezbollah, it'll have to defeat the Lebanese nation as well. Roshan Mohamed Saleh, Islam Channel News.